Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm participating in the Team Tiny Love Hob, where members of the Facebook group Team Tiny are coming together to create some love-themed cards and projects for you. I've created this slimline I Love You card, and I'm using the Simon Says stamp for my Sweet Valentine stamp set, along with some red holographic cardstock that came in the limited edition kit. Now this kit is no longer available, but you can purchase the items individually. And I'll link that down in the description box below. So what I've done is cut down my panel to three and a quarter inch by eight and a quarter inches. And I'm using the Slimline Birthday Wishes die set. I'm using the smaller of the two dies. And I have cut out um, a scalloped border out of the center. And here I am just marking off the corners with my pencil so that I'll know where to stamp this image. Now you'll see that I end up doing something different here in just a little bit, but at this point I thought I was stamping directly on my card base. But I'm using the long hearts that were strung on a string, and I've placed this in my Misty stamping tool. And here I'm applying my anti-static powder bag, and now I am adding some Ranger Archival ink to the stamped image, and I'll be going over this a few times. Now that I have a good, clean, crisp image, I'm adding some clear embossing powder. I'll be brushing off the excess powder with a paintbrush and then applying my heat tool. I really like to use black ink, black archival ink and clear embossing powder because it tends to work much better than me trying to use Versamark ink with black embossing powder. Now here I'm just taking my Copic markers and coloring in. I wanted my hearts to be red, white, and pink to match the shaker bits that I'll be adding. And I just decided to color it one solid color, but as you can see, it bled through my heavyweight cardstock. I really thought this was gonna be thick enough, but it's not. So since it bled through, I'm gonna trim this down and just glue it directly onto another card base. In order to make this a shaker window, I'm now taking a piece of clear acetate and I'm trimming it down to be slightly smaller than that scalloped border frame that I cut out of the red earlier. So here I'm taking and just erasing my pencil marks and I'm gluing that piece down that was originally on my card base. So I'm just gluing it down to another card base and then I'm gluing the red holographic frame. Now my slimline card base is three and a half by eight and a half inches and I just folded it in half. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding glue to the back of my red holographic piece and then I'm gluing down the acetate piece and I also cut out another um, border out of white cardstock just to make it be a little bit more sturdy. I'm using the Paper Rose I Love You layered die set to create the words for the front of the card. I'm using that scrap piece of red holographic paper that was cut out from the middle and I'm putting a strip of Sizzix adhesive on the back and I'll be cutting the words out of this red holographic paper and then for the shadow part I'm going to use a piece of um, that scrap cardstock that I cut the stamped portion out of. I'm going to use that for the layered part. So the, um, the white red holographic will be in the center and it will be placed on a white background as you see me gluing down here. Rather than just leaving these hearts white, I wanted to add some glitter, so here I'm just brushing on some clear Wink of Stella. For inside of my shaker window, I'm using the Sweethearts Sprinklets Embellishments by Buttons and Galore. Now I'm taking some Darice foam strips and I'm adding that to the back side of my shaker window. And you'll see that I have to trim some of the ends down, but I do end up using them on the smaller ends. You just want to make sure that you don't have any holes so that the um, sprinklets can fall out. Now I'm taking my powder tool and I'm running it along the inside edges of those foam strips just to remove any adhesive that would keep the shaker bits from moving around freely and getting stuck in there. So um, because the shaker bits are a little bit thicker, 
I decided to go ahead and add another layer of these foam strips. So I removed the adhesive backing and then just added another strip on top. Um, now some of these shaker bits were a little bit thicker than others. And so um, I just wanted to make sure that they were able to move around. Now I'm just adding those shaker bits on top of my image and I'm picking out the pieces that weren't heart shaped. And I also had some red foil confetti left over from a Valentine project that I did a few years ago. And I thought that they matched that red holographic paper. So I'm just adding the smaller of these hearts to um, add a little bit more interest to the shaker bits. So here I'm just rubbing off some of the stuff that gets stuck to the acetate. It's very staticky. So I re removed the backing of those foam strips and added it down and just making sure that all of my shaker bits are moving freely. And so now it's time to glue down the word die cuts that I made earlier. And I'm gonna glue these down using some Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. I just love this red holographic paper and I've been wanting to make a slimline shaker card for a while. I've had these sweethearts sprinklets and I haven't had a chance to use them and I thought that that would work perfectly with that stamp that came with this stamp set. So the card kit included this pink slimline envelope so I decided to stamp the my love in the top right hand corner and I colored the little heart in with a red Copic marker. And here is my finished card. I think it turned out really pretty. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Don't forget, you can check out the other participants in this hop by clicking on the hashtag Team Tiny Love Hop in the description box below. You can find additional card inspiration on my website at cardsbykindred.com, as well as my Facebook page, Pinterest, and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.